Hi, beloved. It's me, Robin, intuitive healer and light sparkler at robinhallett.com. And today I want to offer you a sweet meditation on helping yourself be with yourself and manage your manage your codependent feelings that you may be experiencing. Perhaps you're in a family where there's stuff going on with one family member, or maybe you're in a relationship, a romantic, you know, relationship or friendship, um, where something's going on with the other person. And you begin to notice that it's very difficult to find yourself and feel yourself and be in your center when you're with them, but not even when you're with them, when you're um, not even with them, you're just thinking about them all the time. And it's very difficult for you to find your own center of happiness and peace. So this healing today, this meditation is for that. So if it feels right to you, we can just go inside and you'll close your eyes and relax. You're welcome to just watch me and follow along um, as well. But place a hand on your high heart or two hands like I'm doing. And let's just take a deep breath. Soften your body. And right here, I just, I affirm to you that it is healthy and good to be your own self. Here in yourself, all is well, and you are safe, and it's okay to be in yourself and about yourself. Sometimes those of us who care for others or um, even children, you know, we have a really hard time remembering that it's okay to be of ourselves, to think of ourselves and focus on ourselves. So let yourself feel that now. And I like to tell people to imagine drawing a big circle around yourself and putting yourself in the center of the circle, like a dot in the center. So just see yourself in your own center now. And gently allow yourself to tune to the people or the one person or the situation that seems to continue to come to you and take your energy and attention and life force energy. Look at that person and see what it is that they do that makes you do your own little crazy dance, I call it. it. Makes you do your own little stuff that takes you out of your center and you just want to. Maybe you want to fix it for that person or you want to, you know, repair the situation or make them all better, but you realize you're not Atlas, you know, you're not here to hold the entire world up. And you learning to be at peace in your center is a healing for the world. It's a healing for other people. It's a healing for that one person who's maybe not doing so well and it's got all your focus and attention. You know, even if you're a care, the only caregiver for somebody who's not doing well, physically not feeling well. This practice will help you be a better caregiver. So we come into our center. And take a breath. And be of ourselves for a moment here in our center. All is well. And again, see that person. And when you're worried and you're upset or you're afraid or you're triggered, you know, something's going on that you can't stop focusing on them, you realize they're inside your circle. You've brought them into the bubble with you. So gently and lovingly, you know, this can be easy. This is an imaginal experience. 
imagine the most lovingest, beautiful pair of angel wings maybe come right outside the bubble, right outside your circle, and this person gets on to the ride, and they are taken to their own center. Just see them going back to their own center. This is a practice. You're not causing harm. You're not hurting them by letting them be in their center. You're allowing them to heal more quickly by not being the one who's always stopping the flow with your own worry and drama and fear. So just see them gently floating. Whoever it is, even if it's your mother or your father or your child, it's better for everyone when we're all in our own center. Sometimes people will say to me, but Robin, I'm being nice. I'm being a good person when I do this and I do that for this person or I do all this stuff for them. There's another way to be of service that doesn't cost you so much. And that's what we're looking for. Just come be in your center. However many people need to get off the you ride, get out of the circle that you are in and go back to their own space. Just let the wings continue to come and pick them up and carry them to their own space. Stay with your breath. What I know for sure is when we're in our center, everybody, we're all a bit clearer. Our energy vibrates more purely and inspiration and insight comes to us more effortlessly. So whatever you believe you want for this person, in a way it's like saying getting out of the way and letting spirit and grace take over is what you're open to doing. It's beautiful, you know just to let them go. And if divine wisdom comes to you, there's something you need to do, you will know. But not from an exhausted place, not from a wiped out place, not from an angry and resentful space. And, you know, beloved, if you feel that way, I just want you to know me too. I know this place too. And I'm working on this right alongside you. We get to have the focus be all on us. You know, we're here to take care of us. That's the way we best serve the world, by making sure the tank is full, the belly is full, the heart is full, the happiness. You know, every day we're doing something to make ourselves happy, that we look in the mirror and learn to say, how can I make you happy today? It's so simple. So just keep breathing, feeling your center. A lot of times what I hear in session are people trying to take care of the other person so that that other person becomes all good again and then you can go away and do what you really want to be doing. So that's such a long way around because your intention is to fix them so you can fix you or have time for you, it's never going to happen. There's something built into that batter that's going to slow you down forever. So the shortcut, the hack, you know, we could say Robin's life hacker healing tips here today. <laughs> the shortcut is do you. You do you, boo. You know, come to your center at least twice a day. Just come be in your center with me. Bookmark this meditation. Be here and practice. Just because it's uncomfortable is not an excuse. You have to do this. You have to break free. And you have to keep releasing them back to spirit and themselves. And you can say words as you let the wings take them. You can say words. I return you, so-and-so, to your source. You know, help us, help us. You know, if you think you're the savior or it's put, you're put upon because you're having to save people, 
I guarantee your ideas are not going to be as good. It's something's going to muddy that energy. And so let spirit lead the way. Let spirit lead the way. So just to close this meditation, you know, you can do this with me. Take your arms and bathe yourself in a little bit of light. Like that. Yeah. Just scoop some energy up and down. You know, this doesn't have to be. This was 10 minutes. I'm looking at the clock. It's 10 minutes. You have time for 10 minutes to love yourself. I will be here. I will be in my center today. And from here, offer light that is centered and balanced out into the world. Okay. May this serve you where you need it the most. And always, if I can help, reach out. There's links in the comments. It's Robin signing off. Lots of love. Ciao.